Welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And today, as you see in the title, I'm doing a haul. I have not done a big, huge shopping trip in a long time. The freezer's getting low and fall is coming around the corner. And I'm, I'm in that, gotta get my pantry stocked. Not just my home canned goods. And I'm gonna do a video for you on that haul of what I've canned so far this year and or this summer and um but i wanted to i went to costco today and i literally was like oh you know i can't turn down a bargain and i can't <laughs> i couldn't turn down the fact that i don't go that often anymore because it's the opposite end you know i i just don't drive that direction very often so i hadn't been to costco in a couple of months and i thought you know it's time so I'm going to go over what I got today and I have a couple of things that I already put away because I did pick up a jacket, a raincoat because it rains up here and, um, and what else did I get? Oh, I picked up a couple things for my friends. So, um, this first thing I got, cause these were on sale and, uh, Shotzi went with me. So that way I could give her a treat when I got back to the car. Um, these are jerky treats. I only get them once in a while because I make her um, chicken jerky all the time. Uh, these are the Cascade Dawn dish washing tabs that you put in. Uh, it, this is enough for me for probably a year because I still have a few left, but these were $4 off, so $14.99. I think this was uh, $6.89 for that. I got paper towels. Um, those are $14.99. Uh, two jugs of vinegar. I think that was $4.29, I want to say. Um, cottage cheese. Uh, Shotzi and I both share this. Um, one thing of cottage cheese, and that was $3.99. Or $4.99, sorry. Uh, Johnny's garlic. And this uh, was on sale for $4.29. Per, it's usually $5.99, I believe. Anyway. Unstoppables, four dollars off, eleven dollars. I ha I got three packages, two and a half pound packages of button mushrooms because I'm going to can these. These are um, a product of Canada. These are three ninety nine a pack, so I'm going to be canning up some of those in the little half pint squatty jars. I already can some up uh, and I'll show you that, but these are going to have a little recipe to it. So I'll dress them up in the canning jar a little bit. If you want to see that video, be sure and leave a comment down below. Uh, some uh, Portland French city sourdough bread. And this is the cracked wheat and I put it in the freezer and you know, now and then I have a piece of toast or half a sandwich. Not very often, but that's so I just freeze it. Um, my coffee beans, and this is um, San Francisco Bay French roast coffee beans. The holidays are coming, and I thought, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and get chocolate chips now. I think the bread was $3.99. The coffee beans are $14.99 or $14.59, something in there. These were $7.99 for a big four and a half pound bag. So I make fudge and all kinds of wonderful things throughout the holiday season. So I want to be stocked and ready. And along with that, slivered almonds, sliced almonds. I have a recipe coming up that I'm going to be using this in. So I, I will be sure and share that. Uh, a half gallon of half and half. That was $3.99. Um, I've got a bottle of Chardonnay and a bottle of a, a red blend that's really nice uh crisco oh that's safeway never mind olives mm, olives um i love olives these um are 9.99 for two big containers i can't buy these in the store for that um it's such a good bargain and they don't go bad so Dawn dish soap. I didn't really need dish soap yet, like the tabs, the dishwashing tabs, but they're on sale. This was on, it's usually $9.99. It was on sale for $5.99. I'm like, buy it. So I did. Okay, now I'm gonna come around the counter and I'll show you what else I got. Okay, 
These I absolutely love. These are the little chicken and cilantro wontons. I could put five of those in uh, uh, some of my bone broth and it's just a really nice little light soup to have. Throw some um, chopped up green onions or um, some chives out of the garden. A three pound, is this three pound brick of cream cheese and it lasts forever. Um, I went ahead and got that. And this, and I think, I believe this is um, $6.79 for that. Um, grated Parmesan cheese, you know, in the green. I use this when I make lasagna or stuffed shells and um, they had it marked uh, down to $5.99. So I can put this in the freezer and it'll stay. <clears throat> Better than bouillon, $5.99. Um, that's the beef and I got the chicken as well. And I use that in my canning as well as just everyday cooking. Um, one of their hams, oh, Master Carve ham. This is such good ham. And I have plans for this, not just for sandwiches or breakfast, but part of this is going to go in the canner with some split pea and ham soup. So if you want to see that recipe, leave me a comment. I will bring you along for that. I did a can that a while back. Um, but I think I canned it in quart jars, and this time I'm gonna can it in pint jars, so it's a to-go lunch for me. All right, um, bacon, this is just Kirkland brand uh, bacon. There's four packages in here. I believe these were $14.49 a pack. And then I got my favorite bacon, which is um, Hempler's Uncured. Oh, it's so good, center cut bacon. It's absolutely wonderful. A couple pork tenderloins. These were 14 something. And a, looks like we have a leak. Not good. Okay. And a um, thing of some New York strip steaks, which I'll be freezer banking. So that's my Costco haul. Now on the way home, because I knew they had bone in center cut pork chops on sale. Uh, or no, these are pork loin chops on sale, bone in for $1.69 a pound. So I bought this to freezer bank as well as some chicken breast, a thing of celery and a big bag of jalapenos to go for my next salsa recipe that I want to bring you along for because this salsa is delicious and it's a, it takes a ton of jalapenos and it just lends such a great flavor and it was shared for all of us, but I'm gonna, uh, I'll save that shout out for when I do the video. So, all right guys. So if you like this kind of stuff, I don't know, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section and um, yeah. And let me know what you'd like to see next. I do have coming up on the horizon. I've got, I'm kind of setting all my canning stuff that I've done this year out on my table and I'm gonna give you a canning haul for the summer. All right guys, we'll see you then. <laughs>